Well, today is day one of the Pentagon's new travel restrictions for all personnel and their families. Meanwhile, questions are being asked about what role the military could play in the coronavirus crisis. Specifically, the military's medical assets and hospital ships. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding joins us with those details. Mike? Well, Nicole and Janet, it is all still pretty much up in the air, but Pentagon leaders said today that if asked, the military will do whatever it can to try to help. The Navy hospital ship USNS Comfort returned home to Naval Station Norfolk in November following a five-month humanitarian mission in Latin America called Enduring Promise. The ship carried nearly 200 medical professionals as well as a crew of 800, saw more than 70,000 patients and performed over 1,200 surgeries. But hospital ships such as the Comfort aren't necessarily ideal for treating people in isolation care who must be quarantined because they treat their patients in open bays. The other other issue currently is the medical manpower or lack of it. We can get you a ship. Right now that ship has a bunch of merchant mariners on it who operate the ship. There aren't a thousand or twelve hundred medical professionals with the ship waiting. They have to come from somewhere else. And that would take time to assemble a team and time to get wherever they'd be sent. But Joint Staff Surgeon Brigadier General John Friedrich said no such request has been made yet. We have not seen huge demand signals come into the DOD yet saying that we've got a significant gap. Uh, you know, I, I was here all weekend and I did not receive anything specifically that says we need this number of beds in this location. And General Friedrich said that if people feel as though they do need help from the military, they need to work through the White House to try to get it. And then the military will look at what they've got that they can do to meet the requirement to help with the capabilities that they have. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.